Hi, I'm Bob Keeshan, and welcome to CBS Story Break. We're all familiar with the story of Cinderella. The author of today's book grew up hearing a different version from her grandmother, a Chinese Cinderella story, one that's a thousand years older than the one we know. I think you'll find the differences surprising. Based on Ai Ling Lui's book, here is Ye Shen, a Cinderella story from China. has a pretty face, if you can see it. I'm looking for a beautiful wife, not a pretty servant. May I help you carry your heavy burden? No, thank you. I'm quite strong. Going to the festival? Perhaps. Perhaps then I'll see you there. Perhaps. I'll see you at the festival. <laughs> I look forward to the festival. All the beauties will be there, and I will pick the prettiest to be my wife. Ye Shen was flirting with them. Shocking. Disgusting. What did I do to deserve a stepdaughter like that? You can't let Ye Shen go to the festival. I can't handle that kind of competition. <laughs> Ye Shen, you worthless orphan. What is it, stepmother? We saw you out there shamelessly flirting. It was a sorry day when I took you in. She should be punished. Good idea, my dear, sweet, unmarried daughter. Since you were too busy to work, here's all the breakfast you deserve. Now go, do the wash. Hello, Gold Eyes. I saved some rice for you. Have you had your share? Yes. I'm a lucky fish to have a friend like you. And I'm lucky to have you for a friend. My only friend. At the festival, you'll meet a very special friend. The festival is what I dream about most. Dancing, meeting someone who will love me. And will take you away from that miserable stepmother. Yes, that too. You deserve a much better life. Someday you'll have it, I promise you. Now, let's do the wash. get a husband if you believe in talking fish. But it's true, it's true. Come see for yourself. This is an extraordinary fish. But do we need to talk to a fish? Yes. No, we don't. What could a fish tell us? The water is wet? No. So, do we need a fish to do our wash? Yes. No, we don't. Yes, Shen does our wash. However, do we need a fish to provide food? No. Yes, we do. Thank you for helping me. Bye-bye. I'll wait for your return. Perhaps you need an owl to help you hang the wash. We need more firewood. Go to the forest, the far side of the forest, and gather some. But it will take me all day to go to the far side. I want the wood from the far side. Burns longer. You can run both ways. But before you go, take off your filthy coat. My coat is clean, stepmother. I won't have the neighbor seeing you in anything so filthy. It should have been in the wash. Off with it. So soon, Ye Shen. Since you can talk, perhaps you can tell me the best way to cook you. Mm -hmm. 
You're late for supper. I came as fast as I could. The forest was so far away. Stack the wood. You missed the best dinner we ever had. It was a fish dinner. You should have been the one to cook it. You bought a fish? I caught a fish. In the pond? A fat fish with golden eyes. And it kept calling your name. Yeshen, Yeshen, tell them to use more soy sauce. <laughs> no, no. We saved the best part for you. I'm sorry for what happened to you, Gold Eyes. It's my fault. It's not your fault, Yeshen. It was my fate. Who said that? I did. It's me, Gold Eyes. I'm just bones now, but magical bones. You've been such a good friend. I want to return your kindness. I must, or I cannot journey to the pond of my forefathers. Oh, there's so much food. Shouldn't I share it with my stepmother and stepsister? Did they share me with you? No. This gift is from me to you. Too slow. No supper for you tonight. Oh, gold eyes. I'm tired and I've had no supper. Ask me for something more. This is all I need. Are you fattening up another fish for us, Yeshen? Oh, my feet are so muddy. Do wash, stupid girl. No supper for you. It isn't fair for them to treat you this way. I know, but I was an orphan. They gave me a home. You give them more than they give you. Let me do things for you. Ask for the laundry to be done, the fruit to be picked, the gardening, the scrubbing, and they will be done. But I don't mind doing those things for now because I hope to find my true love at the festival. If that is your destiny. Gorgeous, gorgeous! You'll be the most beautiful unmarried maiden at the festival. Oh, Mother! Will I really be the most beautiful girl there? Providing no other girls come. Ye Shen, do you think I'll find a husband there? Yes. There'll be music and dancing. The young men will be looking carefully at the young women selecting brides. And one of the men, perhaps the handsomest one, will ask you to be his bride. I'll be with you and help you all I can. Did anyone say you were going to the festival? You promised I could go. It's all I had to look forward to. I promise you that every year. And I keep my promise you will go to the festival. Oh, thank you. Next year, or the year after, or the year after that. Isn't that nice of me? Very decent of you, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you budge out of this cave, or you'll get the beating of your life, understand? Yes, stepmother. Let me hear positive thinking. I will find a husband. I will be a bride. I will find a husband. I will be a bride. Oh, dear friend. I know now I'll never go to the festival. All your dreams will come true. You must go. I will take you.